Hi, friends. Thanks for joining us for another lesson. Today, we're going to be talking about compound sentences. So you're probably wondering what a compound sentence is. But don't worry, I'm here to tell you all about it. So a compound sentence is when two simple sentences are joined together by a conjunction and a comma. Hmm, conjunction and a comma. And simple sentences. So those are terms maybe you haven't heard before. A simple sentence is, for example, our do dog loves to eat carrots. Um, a conjunction are words that you've probably seen in your everyday language. Some examples that we're going to use today are but and and. And these are very helpful words that can help us combine the two sentences together. But we cannot forget about our friend comma. So in this example, our dog loves to eat carrots. The second sentence says our cat loves to eat tuna. Those are related. So we can put them together by using a comma after the first simple sentence and combining it with a conjunction by using but or and. Another example, it was cold outside. The second simple sentence says Ryan forgot his jacket. Those are related. So we can put a comma at the end of the first sentence and use a conjunction. So in this sentence, they use but. Ryan forgot his jacket. Our other example is the assembly is tomorrow. That is a simple sentence. And I will be gone on Friday. So they did sentence number one, comma, conjunction, simple sentence two. So there are four parts to a compound sentence. So Miss Knight over here, we're going to teach you a fun little movement to help you remember compound sentences. I'm simple sentence one. I'm simple sentence two. Okay, so my sentence is, my horse was very hungry. My sentence is. But Miss Knight brought her a carrot. So these sentences are related. So we can combine them with a comma. So this is called a comma swoop. If you have a partner or a friend or family member at home, you give them a high five, you stay there, and you swoop down. This kind of makes the same pattern as a comma. So, but don't forget, you need to add a conjunction. So after we do a comma, you need to pick a conjunction word, which could be but and and. So I hope you can think of your own compound sentences and show us your comma swoop. Thanks, bye. bye.